On the Prayer America television channel this week, we're praying for divine guidance. We've had a lot of comment on this. I want to talk about guidance today on this channel. It says in Psalms 31 verse 5, it says, Into your hand I commit my spirit. If I give you my hand willingly, I place it in yours, and then I, I will follow where you lead, and hopefully it will be a good place. But with God, it's always a good place. There comes that point in our spirituality where we are willing to surrender. Surrender is not a negative word, not when you're doing it to God. It is letting go of the old ways that haven't worked, that we have tried to use time and time and time again to no avail. Now, this continues in Psalms. You have redeemed me, O Lord, faithful God. You have redeemed me. When we are redeemed, I had somebody say something like this to me years ago. He, he said, you botched this last project. Now you are going to have a new project and do it good and you will redeem yourself. When you are redeemed, you're cleansed, you're made new. You are not judged by who you were even yesterday. You're a new person in Christ. And all of your life responds to you in that new way. New things come in your career. New things come in your personal life. You may think that following divine guidance leaves little for you to do. You place your hand in God and you say, God, take over. No, it doesn't work that way. God comes through your mind and inspires you, empowers you. And if you are spiritually strong enough, you will get up from where you are in thought and in locality and go to where God leads you to have great success. So you don't just sit down. You don't just sit at the feet of Jesus and say, do it all for me. <laughs> no, you stand up in your spirituality and say, do it through me. And there's a huge difference. That is what working with God really is. It calls on you to make a real commitment to God. Not just in the moment, not for an hour on Sunday morning, but, but throughout your entire week, month, year, life. This commitment when made, is pure, and it's sacred, and it brings order into your life, and it is totally fulfilling. Let's confirm our commitment to God right now. God, here is my hand. I place it into yours. God, I entrust myself and all that is in the past, all that is in the present, and in my future, to you. I know that from this commitment I will discover a greater understanding of life itself, and of you, and of myself, and of my world. Dear God, you offer me unlimited freedom and unlimited opportunities, as well as courage and wisdom in my daily path. God, wherever you guide me, I place my hand in yours and I will follow. Thank you, for your way is always peace and it is always love and it's always full life. In Jesus Christ's name, we pray. Amen.